Hey guys, back for another beer review. I'll give you a bit of a clue as to who this one is from. There we go, there's the cap. So this is none other than the Supercharger clone from Grant Baker. Um, so Grant was kindly kind enough to send this up with the uh, two beers um, from Tony Yates. So yeah, been hanging out to try this for a while. Major apologies Grant for not trying this sooner. So we'll crack. This is going to be interesting. I've got no the grounds uh, on a slope, so this we'll have to do a bit of juggling. Got the cracker open. Ooh, nice bit of hiss. So I believe this has been um, uh, it's out of the keg, so there shouldn't be any sediment there. We're fiddling around. So we got this. Okay. So we'll pour it up. using my, this is my Spiegelau, I think it's like a lager slash pilsner sort of glass, but um, it looked like a pretty pretty good glass to put this whole sort of 500ml bottle in. I'm assuming this is keep condition. Well, there is a tiny bit of um, yeast on the bottom, so I might just leave it there, we'll plonk it down. There she is. Just try and wipe some of that condensation off. So yeah, it's looking good with the some light coming through the trees there. Beautiful um, sort of burnt orange colour. Yeah, it looks fantastic, right? And it's holding a really nice um, sort of half finger, uh, tightly packed um, sort of nice white creamy head. So yeah, it's looking looking the business, right? Had a real nice day here, so hanging out for a beer. So cheers Grant, cheers guys, we've got a nose on it. Ooh, that smells good. I'm getting some real, real nice, um, intense uh, hop aroma off this top still, Grant. So yeah, if the hops have faded, they haven't faded much, there's still plenty of hop um, presence there. Sort of nice sort of hits of um, grapefruit and orange. Real nice sort of intense um, concentrated hop aroma. Oh, that smells good. I'm going to dive in guys, I'm going to try and keep this video short. nice. Sorry I didn't have a spare um, commercial supercharger to do a side by side but yeah, it's got that real nice juicy sort of hop flavour and hop intensity that you get from the commercial version and it's backed up with some real nice um, sort of sweet malt um, going on in the background which is really nice. Is nice. That that's pretty close to the supercharger. Just going from memory. Um, yeah, it's got that nice sort of hoppiness. There's, a, there's some nice um, sort of that. I know it's an overused term, but that sort of piney resinous sort of quality as well to to the hops. get a nice hit of bitterness up front, sort of, yeah, like, pops in your mouth the bitterness and then just sort of tapers off really, really nicely, really smooth, no lingering, um, lingering harsh bitterness or anything. Ooh, that, that is really good, Grant. Right? That real nice multi backbone to go along with the hops and that's, that's pretty close. I'd be. I wish now I did have a, a beer to sort of sit side by side and test with it. But um, just going from memory, I've had had quite a few of the commercial versions, and um, yeah, that is, that's nice. I really like the sweet sweetness from the malt. Um, you know, the crystal type of malt that's in there. It's a 
crack a beer, Grant. Thank you very much for that. Um, I mean, you brewed that up when we brewed ours, so that was mid-December, so that's um, just shy of three months and not really picking up much in the way of it um, having aged or any, you know, beer sort of degrading at all, so uh, awesome job. Okay guys, I'll stop there. Thanks again Grant. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with Grant, check out his channel. Um, I'll put a link below. Here's a closer look at the uh, bottle caps, which is pretty cool. I'll try and straighten that one up and hang on to it. Um, until next time, have yourself a great day, a great week, and a great weekend coming up. Cheers guys, over and out. That is so good. Cheers guys.